is a very unique thing when you're traveling around India. You have the sleeper buses. So you will have honestly like a bunk bed here. I don't know if you can see very well, but this is an example of the bunk bed. And you'll sleep on that for at least nine to 10 hours, depending on where you're going. Um, there's AC and non-AC in these type of buses. And you can see, you got the top bunks and the bottom bunk. So this is how we'll be traveling for the next nine to 10 hours. So it's a long journey and it will be a good experience. So I've done this before. So I'm just showing you guys so you get an idea of what it's like to really travel around various places in India. So see you in Yelapur. Peace. <laughs> All right, today's episode. We're walking around the village here, the city village here in Karnataka. Uh, <laughs> All right. What's happening here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Namaskar. Namaste. Yeah, 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 London. London like yeah, 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 so what are they doing here today? Uh, they are meeting today. Okay. Every week uh, they have meeting. Meeting? So for the, some association. Okay. Some other NGO they will support financially when they have. So, okay. So they will collect and they do some business kind of uh, homework and all. Yeah. And then with the interest they will return. So every week. Every week, yeah. yeah. Thursday, Thursday they have meeting. Okay. So, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So this is, this is the money they, which they took loan and then now they are returning. Returning, okay, okay, okay. So everyone supports each other. Each other. That is oh, oh wow. Oh, that's the, the loan for business. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nice, nice. So some they take money for to support their children. Children. Yeah. Education. Yeah. And some they take money for the cultivate uh, something in the farm. The, the farm or something like that. Oh wow, that's great. That's great. So I, I notice it's only women. So is it yeah, mainly women. done by women? Yes, yes. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, okay. And what's the main language they speak here? Kannada, English, Hindi, Konkani. Meeting up. Meeting up. Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, meeting will be in Canada. in Canada. Okay, wow, the language. So that's one of the main language here, Canada, Canada. in this state. Wow. <laughs> I need to, I need to learn Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hindi also. Hindi, they can speak. Tori, Tori. Yes, uh, <laughs> Hindi, Hindi professor. Oh, Hindi professor. No, simply. <laughs> oh, okay. Up, <laughs> kaise hai? Okay, her name is Nirmala. Okay, Mira Nam Imani here. Yeah, Imani. Wow, okay, okay. So the city is mainly Christians in this community. Yes, here almost Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Nice. So, uh, yeah, in the community, see the Yankee Melon will loan a sales company. If you're professionally, so YouTube will be able to YouTube maker. YouTube video. Yeah. Right. Okay. Huh? So we are inviting you for lunch. For lunch? Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all can eat. 
So, uh, is, is it Miss Professor? You speak English? Little, little, okay. <laughs> Are you English? No? No, you can a little bit. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let us, let, let, okay. I've been invited for lunch, guys. Very nice, very hospitable. All right, come, come with me. <laughs> yes, nam Namaskar. All right, all right. Name? Nama. Okay, okay you? Kalita, you? Ma pa Fatima. Okay, all right. Apka naam kya hai? Shantan. Oh, apka naam acha hai. Okay. Kereda. Devdita. Devdita. Okay. So these are all the various uh, women in the community here working on the the loan that he was doing. Very interesting. All right. English. The Tori Tori English. Bolta hu. No. <laughs> Canada. Oh, uh, Hindi. Oh, uh, okay. So the main languages spoken here is Konkani, Marathi, and Canada. All right, nice. We have a seat. Okay. Danyavad. All right. Wow. Uh, what? Can hold for me? Wash your hands. Thank, thank you so much. I can do it here. Yeah. So this is how we wash the hands. All right, thank you. Wow. Good, thank you. You can speak English. Yeah, because you said wash my hands. <laughs> She's hiding now. Chicken? Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, two is okay. Put this curry? Yeah, yeah, some curry. Thank you. You speak English. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. So this is uh, this is uh, uh the curry, yeah. and we and we got rice. So did you cook? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. So is uh chicken curry the main uh, food you like here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, tori tori, just a little bit. Okay, thank you. All right, so look at this, guys. We've got ourselves uh, some curry and some food. Very welcoming people here, guys. So we're going to eat this and enjoy. <laughs> so we eat with our hands. Wow. Prati meeting at this yana. Whoa, whoa. 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 The food is really nice, guys. The chicken is soft. Really nice taste. It's seasoned well. I like it. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's finish up and eat. Yeah, guys, so I had a very wonderful meal here. It's been really great. And um, so basically, what happens is every month, a lot of the women in the community get together and they'll, of course, bring different money together, like loans and stuff. And they all support each other. 
like you can see here they'll support each other some may have to bring money for school some may have to do for uh, businesses different things like that so it's really nice and it was nice of them to offer me uh, a meal here so really hospitable and friendly people here in what is today called the city community here in the state of Karnataka. So this is everyone here and this is the village area you know they got a lot of different coconut trees and all of that good stuff around. So yeah you was just telling me uh, they will meet every month how how does it work uh, this is called a self help group self help this is for only women right yeah. so all the women comes together monthly one time and they will have a meeting and uh, actually this uh, self help group to, to support them financially so sometimes they, they don't have money then they will take the money loan as a loan and they will use it and installment today they will give back every month so suppose if they take 10,000 every month they may give 1,000 rupees with the interest which is like very less 2% or 3% interest with that they will start giving until finish that 10,000 once that finish if they want again they will take back so this meeting will be every month every month of third uh, every month of third each house they will go like the members of of the group yeah every month they will change keep and change the house right so, so they'll meet there and uh, they will uh, bring their money also they will keep their some money every month like 100 rupees 10 rupees every month they gather whatever they gather the two money so they will give us a loan and they will get the interest also so that's what is happening in this group so this month they have a meeting here and uh, whenever they have meeting, so morning they will start up to afternoon. Then will they will have lunch together. Here. Right. Then they will go back. Okay. The money will be taken from the only the members of the group. Not for others. They will not, only the members of the group. Basically, they will take a loan to support their children's education or to um, if they have some programs at home or if they want to cultivate if they want some money to cultivate in their field so they will uh, take once the, they get back money they say they will return to the group mm. so that's what happens that's how it works yeah 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 it is in every village almost wow every village. So this is the Hunsati couple village, mm -hmm. they have a group. Yeah. Not only one group, it, it's different. they may have different group also. This is only the Siddhi women's group. There will be the other community women's group also. You're right. Yeah. Okay. And something like this, do men have groups like this, like amongst the men? Uh, men very few. Mm -hmm. They don't have much. Okay. But almost all the villages, women's groups are there. Okay. So, and another the benefit of this group is, Sometimes government also will give money for them. It's the subsidy. So okay. For example, if they sanction one lakh rupees to the group, so the uh, fifty percent will be subsidy. Yeah, so yeah. So fifty thousand they can use it, and fifty thousand later on they can return back. To return the it back. Okay. So that's the reason most of the time the women make this group. Okay. But for men, they don't have that kind of scheme. So this is the Indian government or Karnataka government and all NGOs plan is to uh, economically making the women strong okay to empower the women women yeah uh, because she's the one who's actually leading the family you know, sometimes even though men are there so the he'll be walking outside and bring back but the management of the house may be the woman the woman so they they want oh, to make, wow. empower the women right. there are other some ngos or some government schemes like they also give some kind of uh, support for the open up the small business kind of thing the home uh, made things something like uh, what we call hapla or something like that they want if they want money they can take money from the groups self help group then they can make it and sell it when they get the profit they can keep themselves and also they can return the money okay. that's the reason most of the villages they have a women's group right yeah. right women's group yeah so how do the men uh, generate money how do men get money here Men are they uh, basically they go for work. Work, okay. This area and all, most of them they migrating to because here they get work, 
seasonal wise only monsoon season because of a cultivation they get job after that after three months or four months they don't get their job okay so that's why they go to the different cities such like goa kolapu kolapu you know, mango and all. they go and work there and the, in the monsoon season like may june end of the may or june time they'll come back they come back yeah, yeah, yeah. so they stay with the family and they work locally here locally when they once they get a job okay. once they don't get then again they will migrate sometimes the uh, some men will travel with their children and family together to the okay so so like you know how the men they, the men will travel to like goa and other cities do you get women doing that as well Yeah, sometimes women also they will also go with the family. Sometimes they go. Sometimes, yeah. If yeah. they don't have any like uh, land and only the house, then they have to depend on the other work. So they will travel. They with travel. The sometimes they keep their children in the hostel, boarding school, okay. and they will travel. Go. Oh wow! So there's boarding schools as well. Okay. Right. Not in this village, but like Munugore, Lapu, different other villages. Town. Yeah. So they will just go there. And They keep the children in the boarding school, and they go back work. If they have any urgency for money, they will send it back them, or they will come back to the schools and meet, and they go. Okay. Yeah, go yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. This name, आपका नाम क्या है ये आपका नाम क्या है कल्ला कल्ला ओ आपका नाम सुंदर है कल्ला मेरा नाम इमानी है मिलके बारी खुशी हुई आपका नाम क्या है नथाल आपका नाम अच्छा है आपका नाम क्या है जी पोलिन ओ वाओ आपका नाम सुंदर है Muragu uh, what is your, where are you from Oh London here London. Yeah. London. yeah 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 hmm. I'm visiting here hmm. mm-hmm. hmm. Aapka naam kya hai Janet milke bari khushi hui Thank you <laughs> Oh you speak English Janet Yeah Okay are you study at the university I studied 10th Oh 10th grade yeah. Okay what, what what did you study <laughs> Subject a maths Max English. Oh wow. Hindi, Hindi also. Okay, okay. So she so her name's Janet. She studied English. Yeah, yeah. Hindi. So here one family? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We could sit for a few minutes, few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Danyabad. <laughs> Yeah, we have another family. Mm. <laughs> All right. Eh? Oh. oh, sit here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Daniela, Daniela. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, wow, okay. The demand I sit on the chair. <laughs> okay, Daniel Bad. Why? What is it? Oh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, two weeks I came, two weeks ago, and I came on holiday. Yeah, so we met some people in the village and again welcoming again we had a nice chat and talking and all of that sometimes not everyone wants to be on camera but it was a very good experience so this is more of the village guys I'm really liking how peaceful it is here really peaceful vibe reminds me a little bit about the village that we had saw in Sri Lanka You know, so a lot of people right now, especially the guys there out working, 
some are farmers a lot of them are farmers and especially in many of the villages around here you find a lot of people or farmers and they, so during the day the men go out to work a lot the woman manages the home so yeah okay now we're walking around a city village here yeah so this is what is left so here only city lives yeah okay wow but it's very quiet now everyone gone to work okay so this is what the community looks like guys really peaceful here I must say and um, there are a lot of uh, paddy fields here it's a local shop here uh, uh -huh. Namaskar so you're saying here about maybe 400 families yeah total yeah. total yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so far guys, my experience in the village has been great, very welcoming people and um, we exchange a lot of ideas and seeing how we can work together so it's been really good coming here we do have people from other communities that live around but um the cdas is very unique people they t married in their group mostly so they're able to maintain their phenotype and their, their culture somewhat although they they, they don't speak um, the language that have their ancestors anymore they speak the local languages here but at the same time, they still have that community spirit amongst themselves. This is the end. Yeah. So is that the paddy fields there? Yeah. Let's have a look at what a paddy fields look like. So this is what a house looks like. In various uh, city communities, there are a lot of uh, paddy fields. There, eh? a lot of them work as rice farmers. Yes. Wow. Okay. So this is the end of the village, and just look at this, guys. This is the paddy fields. This one over there is a palm tree. Oh, that is a butternut tree. Yeah. Butternut tree. Okay. And we have some banana trees as well. So this is the uh, paddy field. So Daniel, would you like to go back to Africa one day or you want to stay in India? <laughs> India? Yeah. India is home now, yeah? <laughs> All right, he wants to remain in India. India is home. Daniel, what languages you speak here? You, you, you the language you speak. Marathi. Marathi? Yeah. Konkani? Konkani. And Hindi? Hindi. Okay. So Marathi, Canada, Konkani, Konkani and Hindi. So they they're very much integrated in the culture here and they they're happy to be here. So far that what that's what they've been telling me since I've been asking questions about Africa and stuff like that. 